those who keep your commandments delight in you. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Merry Christmas! Glory be to God! Jesus Christ is alive, and it is by the power of His Spirit He has gathered us together today. It's good to see you, my friends. Welcome to the Gospel Hour with David. John 3.16, the most quoted words of the entire Bible, right? God so loved the world. He gave his one and only son. You know, I want to talk about Nicodemus. Nicodemus asked Jesus, how do I enter into the kingdom of heaven? How, how is it do we become saved? What's the, what's the law? What's the rules? Nicodemus being one of the elders of the church, comes to him and he says this man came to Jesus by night and he said to him Rabbi which is a translation into English as teacher teacher it's a form of respect Right, this is one of the elders coming to Jesus in the darkness of night so that nobody would see or find out that, that he was even entertaining Jesus with any form of respect. It's his teacher. We know that you are a teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Right? Jesus says to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Teacher, we know you are a teacher come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. And then Jesus answers. I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. It's kind of like... <laughs> We can see you, 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 you've come from God. We can see you're, you're speaking of God. You brought the right signs. You're doing all the right things. Jesus says, you, you, you cannot see God. Unless you're born again. Have you ever met a person who's in a place of denial? I mean, that's the one thing you don't, as a person filled with empathy and sympathy, you don't go to people who are narcissistic or in a place of complete selfishness. 
and say to them, stop being selfish. Denial, I'm not selfish. <laughs> I'm not a narcissist. Be in denial. I'm not a alcoholic. I'm not addicted to cigarettes, I just enjoy them. Have you ever been in a place of, of denial? My, my bad behavior is not causing these problems. <laughs> you ever been in that place? I think we all have. I, I've been in that place of denial. Right? I, I remember putting all my faith and, and hopes into becoming a, a great athlete. Right? I wanted to be a professional baseball player, and the denial was not listening to anyone as everyone says, boy, you're really short. You're not very fast. We don't want you. Yet you keep trying, you keep trying because you're, you're in denial. You don't want to accept the truth. That, that sometimes God may have called us to do something else. place of denial and you say why 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 are you bring up denial here Nicodemus comes to Jesus in the darkness middle of the night calls him rabbi we believe you're the one from God oh well, why why if you believed it why didn't you say, Lord, my Lord, I believe you. Why say, teacher, Jesus says, unless one has been born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus says to him, how can a man be born again when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Old man, how do I be born again? Right? Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Many people will read that and interpret it. Some, but they are many. As the water being the water of the womb, right? Woman breaks her water just before giving birth because the, the womb is filled with water. So, so that's... Uh, being born into the world, right? We're born of the water. Unless one is born of the water, unless one has received life, cannot enter to the kingdom of heaven. Because he must be born both of life, the flesh. Flesh gives birth to flesh. Sin gives birth to sin. Hate gives birth to more hate. Racism gives birth to more racism. Drugs give birth to drug addicts. Drugs addicts give birth to drug addictions. Flesh gives birth to flesh. By the will of man, people say, you know, yeah, I want to have a child. Or some say, I don't want to have a child. But flesh gives birth to flesh. And the spirit gives birth to the spirit. Do not marvel. I said to you, you must be born again. The 
wind blows where it wishes. And you hear the sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. We must be born of the Spirit. Now Jesus says later that, you know, I'm going to have to endure a baptism which none of you know about. See, 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 we must die and put death to the flesh in order to be reborn in the spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus says, You are a teacher of Israel. Yet you do not understand these things. Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we bear witness to what we have seen. But you do not receive our testimony. You say, you know I'm from God. And you say you are waiting for the Messiah who's going to be sent by God. Yet you, you, you don't call me Lord. Don't call me Lord. Same way. Wives. But when you, you, you see your husband, and I'm talking Christian husbands and wives, not, not those pagans, but not, not those Americans, but the Christian husband and wives, wives. Do you submit to your husband as, as if he was Jesus? Jesus being his head, the mind of Christ dwelling within him. Moving and motivating him to do the things he does. Do, do you surrender to your husband as though he was Jesus? God being the head of Jesus. Jesus being the head of the church. Man being the head of the woman. Husbands. Husbands. Do you surrender yourself to your wives in the very way Jesus surrendered himself to the church? Giving yourself up to her? Her needs? I mean, he laid down his life for the well-being of his church. Do we do that for our wives? If I told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into set heaven, risen from the dead, except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent, the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God not, did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. 
And this is the judgment. This is the judgment. The light has come into the world. And the world loved the darkness rather than the light. Because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come into the light. At least his, his, least his works should be, expo be exposed. But whoever does what is true comes to the light so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. That his works have been carried out in God. After this, Jesus leaves. Right? Many people, do we need to be baptized by water if we're baptized by our mother's womb? Do we need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit? Jesus and his disciples are in the countryside and they're baptizing. Jesus himself was not baptizing because Jesus himself baptizes with the Holy Spirit. So Peter says later, after the resurrection, after the day of Pentecost, reminding you guys that, that their only connection to God at that time, because the Holy Spirit has not been given yet. They had life, but they had no breath within their life. Their only connection to God was through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Word of God in flesh. The only Son of God, Adam, the earthling, the one race, earthling, human being. Not, we're going to create a superior, uh, <clears throat> superior race, a race of supremacy, whatever race that will be, in order to have a race of supremacy, we must first create the label of not supremacy, heathen, barbarian, South American, illegal alien, brown, white, Indigenous, Native, European, Asian, Black, Red, Yellow. But because you don't believe in God's one and only Son, the earthling, the human being, We do bad things to each other. We slander. We engage in drunkenness, rioting, slander, hate, violence, war, unwilling to come into the light and say and surrender that we, the earthling, have been made by God. John also was baptizing. Why did John baptize? Why did John baptize Jesus? Why were his disciples baptizing? Some people say that being baptized is being washed 
through the water is Jesus Christ is the living water baptizing people by sharing to them the good news of the scriptures John being the Elijah who had been prophesied out Jesus said every word in the Old Testament from the first word to the time John appeared was a prophecy it was all speaking of things that was going to come it was the Holy Spirit that moved the people to prophesy and then John came <clears throat> he says I baptize in water in order to manifest God And wash people in the word of God. So they may receive God. Elijah soaked the bull in the day of Jezebel. King Ahab. And he takes him out. Armageddon, Megiddo, that place. But God draws the line in the sand and says, Are you with me? Are you with me? It says to Jezebel and all the false prophets and all the people who claimed that they knew God. And they had a holy connection with God. He said to them, whomever your gods are, call them. Create an altar and a sacrifice. And the God who answers by fire, for I am the last prophet of the living God. I'll do the same. They take their sacrifice, put it on the altar, all through the day, they're screaming out. They're crying for help. Elijah says, What happened? Is your God taking a nap? Perhaps he went on vacation. He's abandoned you. Where is your God? Scream louder. Perhaps he cannot hear you. They began to chant louder. Chanting. They began to cut themselves hurting themselves, believing that if we create within ourselves suffering, our God will see our suffering, and then he'll answer. Silent. No fire. Night approaches. Elijah cuts the bull to 12 pieces, one piece for all of Israel. <coughs> Builds the altar as according to God's rules. Soaks the bull in water, not once. Even digs a trench around the altar so that None of the water may escape. Get some more water. Do it again. Second time. Get more water. Do it again. So that the bowl is fully soaked in the water. And there's nowhere or way for the water to escape. Three times. Soak it.
and simply says, he's not running around waving his arms in the air. He's not speaking in some foreign tongue that nobody can understand. Here I am. If I am your prophet, answer me, O oh Lord. Because I know it is your desire to turn the hearts and minds of all men back to you. Back to the truth. And the fire fell from heaven. Devoured the bull and licked up every drop of water. So nothing was left. Jesus, the bull, the Holy Spirit, the fire. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he, he who was with you crossed the Jordan to whom you bore witness. Look, he is baptizing and all are going to him. John answered, a person cannot receive even one thing, unless it is given to him from heaven. You, you yourselves bear witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. The one who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom, who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now complete. He must increase, but I must decrease. Jesus says the same things. I must be handed over, killed, destroyed and then lift it up because the Father is greater than I and the Father sent me, says the Lord. Jesus repeats everything John said. Jesus says, if you believe God, believe John. He who comes from above is above all things. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth, and he speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the word of God. For he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. And whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. And, and that was John's testimony. Jesus says, whoever does not believe in me is living under the punishment. And what was Jesus saying? He who does not love me 
does not know God. And, and Jesus believed the testimony that the one and only Son of God was Adam, the human being, the earthling. He believed it. He believed it with confidence. He lived it. The signs he was doing, displaying the love of God by loving others in the same way he wished to be loved. John chapter 7. This all ties together. How must we be saved? What do we got to do to be saved? My teaching is not mine. John chapter 7 verse 16. My teaching is not mine. But it is, but his who sent me. If anyone's will is to do the will of God, he will know whether teaching is from God or whether I am speaking of my own authority. The one who speaks of his own authority seals his own glory. Seals his own glory. John, seeking the glory of himself? No, but even the one who comes after me. Is Jesus seeking glory for himself? No, believe in the one who comes after me. I will send to you an advocate. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. Who comes directly from the Father. One who has been sent. And when you receive him, truth and light will be opened to you. Why do people go get baptized in water? It's a confession. It's a living confession. That, that I, I, I believe in God. I, I believe Jesus Christ. Back in the days of Noah when God flooded the earth and only saved eight. Yet warned them all. Noah took a hundred years to build that boat. Didn't happen overnight. God's great patience waiting day and night for the people to turn and to repent of their sin. He wanted to destroy the world because of the violence, the racism, the wickedness, the war and destruction. Baptism's a confession. When God flooded the earth, We missed the boat. We missed the boat. Confession. I was dead in the water. I was dead without Christ. God saying, I'll transform this world, make a new earth and a new heaven. No longer will I destroy the world in water, but I will save it through the water. When the water came, righteousness rose to the top. And up come a bubble in us. I was dead without Christ. Today I'm alive. Let Christ live in me. It's a confession. They seek their own glory. You see, in false prophets, when people are trying to seek their own glory, Goliath trying to seek his own glory, I come to you by the power of my own strength, my own armor, come to you in the power of my own wisdom, come to the power through my own gods, which are false gods. They seek their own glory. 
but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true. David says, I come not seeking glory, but I come in the name of the Lord to release this entire nation from the oppression of fear. Because fear itself is the enemy. And in him there's no falsehood. The one who seeks the glory of him who was sent Has not Moses given you the, the law? Yet none of you keep the law. Has not Jesus given us the law? Love each other, care for each other, but we don't keep the law. Who keeps the law? Why do you seek to kill me? Crowd answered, you have a demon. You have a demon who is seeking to kill you. Who? Oh, seeking to kill Jesus. Jesus answered them. I did one work, and you marvel at it. Moses gave you circumcision. Not that it is, not that it is from Moses, but from the fathers. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If on the Sabbath a man receives circumcision, so that the law of Moses is not broken, are you angry with me because on the Sabbath, Sabbath, which is a day of rest, I made a man's whole body well? Do not judge by appearance. But judge with what is right. It says you know me. And you know where I come from. But I have not come on my own accord. He who sent me is true. And him you do not know. I know him. For I come from him. And he sent me. He says to them, I will be with you a little longer. And then, I'm going to him who sent me. You will seek me. You will not find me. Where I am, you cannot come. Speaking to the hypocrites. The people who hear the word, hear the law, yet reject the law by not protecting the people whom the law was given to. Say, not protecting the people? God said that the, the law of Moses and all the laws of pro the prophets, all the word of God stands and is confirmed on us loving each other in the very way we wished to be loved. They are asking themselves, what does he mean? Is he going to go teach to the Greeks now? Is he going to leave us? Is he going to abandon us? Or is he going to kill himself? Going to a place we cannot come? We cannot go? On the last day of the feast, if anyone thirsty screams out, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures had said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water living water this is why we should be aware that speaking death over our lives i can't i won't i don't that's not living water and and from our heart flows the truth 
Maybe our situation in life was self-inflicted. Whatever our life situation has landed us in, maybe it wasn't self-inflicted, but just circumstances, culture. I mean, nobody wants to be poor, but some people are born into poverty. Everybody wants to be rich, but only some people are born rich. But everyone who believes, to him, skies are the limit. Peace I give you, peace I bring to you, says the Lord. Everyone who is suffering, suffering as a result of sin, whether it's someone else's sin or our own sin, it's because we are not sinners. That's why we're suffering. We're children of God. If there was no suffering, If there was no guilt, if there was no shame, if there was no suffering, we would have no place with God. But because we suffer, the sin itself, as we see in the world, racism itself, hatred, violence itself, is punishing us. We're suffering. We're suffering because we are the children of God. What about the rich man? Is he suffering? Because Jesus said to the rich man, You want to enter the kingdom of heaven? Sell everything you have. Take the money and give it to the poor. Come follow me. And the rich man loving everything he worked so hard for and all the stuff he had. Coming to the, the realization it's worthless. And it will not buy me a ticket or a way into heaven. goes away sad because he realized the only way was to follow Jesus. That's the way. This is the sign. He who's loving me is obeying me. truth. The Holy Spirit is our advocate and it's the truth. Reality is our best friend. Reality is our best friend. That's the truth. The truth is we do have the power and the strength to rid the world of poverty. We do have the power and the strength to be hospitable. The truth is we do have the power and the strength to be the caretakers of our brothers, our countrymen. We have that strength. That strength is given to us by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, which is the promise, the gift, that I will always be with you, never leave you, nor forsake you. The gift of God is eternal life. Jesus is the light of all people. 
And that light is life. I guess the greatest teacher is life itself. As we are learning how to live with the Holy God in heaven for the rest of eternity. We're, we're, we're learning to live with Him. And, and if we're learning to live in the presence of our Holy God, our Father, we have to learn how disgusting sin is. If we know every eye and every person is going to see God, let us remove all malice from us. Let us not be malicious. Let us seek to give life. Chapter 7, verse 39. As he was screaming out, crying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Let him who believes in me. Because out of the heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For as of yet, the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. Many people hear the word, many people see the word, many people understand the word, yet have not received. And Jesus says, it's because they haven't glorified the Son of Man yet. Unless you rise, look to Christ and lift him up. For I was dead without hope. And now I'm alive. Ready and able to do the work of God. To do the work of God. What gives me the confidence? The endowing power of the Holy Spirit. And died and crucified with Christ. Jesus now lives in me. I don't need to wait for God to, to, to do something about the homelessness. God has appointed me to bear fruit. You don't need to wait <laughs> any longer for authority or permission to do what is right. Because the Holy Spirit of God is moving through you so that He can be seen through you so that He may be glorified through the Son. transformation is the rebirth it's come to God with the Holy Spirit the spirit of grace love and mercy seeking and desiring the milk which comes to the scriptures the milk that prepares us to become men and women instead of children Gives us the strength to be a blessing to those who seek to persecute us. 
gives us the strength and the authority, the shield, to stand in the presence of evil, yet not be afraid. I matter. I matter. That's the thing. I matter. That's the, the ignitement that the Holy Spirit brings to us. The fire within our hearts. I matter. I matter. I matter. about all I got today, guys. The evidence of salvation alive in you is the working of good deeds through you. There's no getting around it. Because the commandment is love each other as I have loved you. Right? Jesus has come to fulfill the word of God. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. And Jesus flipped it upside down. He said, I, your God, your Lord and Savior, am going to do to you Exactly what I wished you'd do to me. For although your sins are like scarlet, I will wash you white as snow. Just be